Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 82 of Swimsuit by James Patterson and Maxine P. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. I didn't love Gina, Henry said to me, but I was fascinated by her, obsessed with her. Okay, maybe I did love her in some way. Henry said, admitting to having a human vulnerability for the first time. One day in Rome, Gina picked up a young girl and the Dutchman. He was out of the picture, not entirely. He'd gone back to Amsterdam, but he and Gina had some strange connection. They were always on the phone. She'd be whispering and laughing when she spoke with him. You can imagine, right? The guy liked to watch, but in the flesh, she was with me. You were with Gina in Rome. I prompted him to continue with the main narrative. Yes, of course. Gina picked up a student who was screwing her way through college. As they say, a first semester prostitute from Prague at University del Studi di Roma. I don't remember her name, only that she was hot and too trusting. We were in bed, the three of us, and Gina told me to close my hands around the girl's neck. It's a sex game called Breathe Play. It enhances the orgasms, and yes, Ben, before you ask, it was exciting to revisit my singular experience with Molly. This girl passed out, and I loosened my grip so that she could breathe. Gina reached out, took my cock in her hand, and kissed me, and then she, then she said, finish her, Henry. I started to mount the girl, but Gina said, no, Henry, you don't understand. Finish her. She reached over to the bedside table, held up the keys to her Ferrari, swung the keys in front of my eyes. It was an offer, the car for the girl's life. I killed that girl, and I made love to Gina with the dead girl beside us. Gina was electrified and wild under my hands when she came. It was like a death and a rebirth as a softer, sweeter woman. Henry's body language relaxed. He told me about driving the Ferrari, a leisurely three-day ride to Florence with many stops along the way, and about a life he believed he became... He believed was becoming his. Not long after that trip to Florence, Gina told me about the alliance, including the fact that John was an important member. The travelogue of Western Europe had ended. Henry's posture straightened, and the tempo of his voice changed from languid of clipped. Gina told me that the alliance was a secret organization composed of the very best people by which she meant wealthy, filthy, rich. She said that they could use me, make use of my talents, is the way she put it. And she said that I would be rewarded handsomely. So Gina didn't love me. She had a purpose for me. Of course, I was a little hurt by that. At first, I thought I might kill her, but there was no need for that, was there, Ben? In fact, it would have been stupid because they hired you to kill for them. Of course, Henry said. But how would that benefit the Alliance? Benjamin, Henry said patiently. They didn't hire me to do hits. I film my work. I make the films for them. They pay to watch. That is the end of this chapter. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.